On this episode of 4K Skywatching, a UAP shoots down from space and then takes off. Keep your eyes on the red area. This is hard to see because I'm filming an area that's 10 to 12 miles away from the camera, so this is very distant. This object just caught my attention and it's kind of bobbering around and up in the top left a plane is going to be flying into the scene and I, I, I pan up to it and then when I pan down I find this thing shoots off at a high velocity. So it's going to just kind of sit there and meander. The plane just went by and I tilt up for just a second and then realize okay that's a plane incoming let's tilt down and now this thing is booking. It's it's really getting out of here pretty quick. I've never seen a grocery bag do anything like this. Would you look, just look at that thing? And there's something behind it taking off at high velocity. I've never seen a balloon take off and ditch me or a grocery bag. Now, here's a playback of the entire clip. This is when it's actually dropping down. So this is when I, I broke down the video, enhanced it, and uh, tracked with it. So it's coming down, I guess, from space. And what I notice is these things do not come under 10,000 feet hardly at all. So it comes down, it probably hits that 10,000 uh, foot threshold where it needs to stop, and then it banks over to the right. So they seem to fly out of control, but they are very much under control when it comes to their altitude. That they, they make sure that they don't drop down too low and be noticed, but they do ping pong around in the sky quite a bit. So this is an interesting uh, capture because I usually don't get these things coming down because I'm usually recording, you know, kind of like at a 75 degree angle. Here I'm recording at maybe a 20 to 30 degree angle. So I'm looking off in the distance. So this thing is simply too far away to register as a, a bird bag or just a one foot object. This thing has to be of some type of size to even show up. Um, on register on video this far away. So here this thing is darting off. Just look at the thing just speed up and book. That's just amazing. Wish I can get better resolution of that. Now we're also going to go back and look at the last footage. This is the last footage I shot on May 15th. I did some uh, tracing of the flight path. I also blew this thing up so we can take a look at it. At this point this is the object in the beginning of the video and you could see it tumbling uh, clockwise. So this pretty much rules out that it was a bird because you'd be able to see some flapping or something like that. Um, rules out it's a balloon I think too because it's just the velocity of this thing is just flying too fast. And the same thing with the bag. It seems to be moving around from 0 to 0.5 Mach, 0.6 Mach, which is about 250 to 350 miles an hour. So this one is a very interesting um, video. Very hard to get these things um, in good resolution just darting around everywhere. And this is also, um, that object's pretty bright. I, I really toned down the uh, the dark the brightness and the darkness on this um, to get this. So I want to give everybody out there a, a tip. If you have a dome, a camera, and you're sky watching and you're looking up, the light of the, the, the general glare of the sun is going to make these things blend into the sky. They're going to be really, really hard to see. So what I do is I take my camera settings, and you can do this with your TV or your camera. Um, and I, I bring up the contrast from default settings up to about 75%. And then I lower the brightness between 12% and around 23 and what that does is it muddies the image, but it makes these things stand out like a, a sore thumb in, in a way that... And I've also tested it where I flipped them back and you can't see them anymore. Like, they because they just blend right in. So here is a, a trace of the object's flight path from the, uh, the video that was shot on May 15th, uh, 2022. This is one where I just handled this thing like a boss. Uh, what you're seeing here is it, it's going to the right and then it's going to loop down and fly back to the left. Um, from looking at um, videos, well, check this out. This is a, this is what um, I think Ryan Graves, the pilot, was referring to as um, racetrack patterns that he would see on his uh, F-18 
uh, radar that these things would look that up. And if you want to know what racetrack patterns are aviation wise, which I didn't really know I had to Google that. It looks like it's something that fixed wing aircraft do to maintain a position or another way to say if you're traveling in one direction, you stay at, you come in at say 7,000. If you go back the other direction, you lower um, maybe to five or 6,000. So you, you don't collide with anybody else. So that seems to be what this is doing is it's patrolling a certain area. Um, who knows why, but this thing is, this thing is up there, not a lot, but it, um, this is not the first time I filmed this type of object, and it's certainly not going to be the last. I do run into this guy every once in a while. This thing is extremely hard uh, to, to track with unless you have a tracking system like this because it changes its direction about, if you look at about every 10 seconds to 30 seconds, some, somewhere in that range, it just goes in another direction for some reason. Uh, the earlier video too can also rule out that this was a like a hobby drone or a quadcopter up there because it was tumbling over itself and the drone drones don't tumble like that when they're uh, they can't they just drop. So this thing's gonna go down and then do its rate another uh, racetrack pattern where it does another curve over to the right again. And when you see that now you can start realizing oh I'm seeing this pattern okay I get it it's going over to the right. And then it's going to do a loop and then come back over to the left so that it d does it twice in a row um, in the video. So this is uh, it doing it, going in to do that again. And that would show, okay, you're not going to have birds doing racetrack patterns, right? And if this is a, uh, let's say, let's, let's just imagine for a minute this is um, being pushed around by high velocity winds. Um, winds are not going to do racetrack patterns either. You know, there's a pattern here, so it, there's more than this is just an object tumbling in the wind. You really have to know how to dissect some of these videos to uh, to get at the, the data in here. Um, so I, I do, I, I think another ray trace coming up on some of its flight paths. Um, so look, it's doing almost the same like flight path it did when I first captured it. So that there rules out that this is just something being blown around in the wind because it wouldn't be doing these uh, racetrack patterns like that. So this is a, a follow up to the other video. Um, you can leave your comments what you think if there's any uh, thing else that might it might be. Um, here's where it does that reverse and stops on the dime and backs up. Check this out. This is a uh, there's the flight path of it. Boom and it backs up and does that. That's just nuts. I'm looking to forward to one day getting the P-1000 on this thing, but it'll be hard because of just how erratic it flies. This thing is not going to sit still for too long and wait for you to zoom in on it. You've got to be on the ball to get it, this thing on uh, extreme resolution. Uh, there's, there's another uh, another trace of it, and now it's going to fly down and uh, and ditch me. So, if you guys like this type of video, you know there's more coming if you've seen any videos on my channel. I'm the guy who films these Tic Tacs on a semi-regular basis, every sometimes weeks or months. So, hit that like button, hit that bell for notifications, and we'll see everybody next time on 4K Skywatcher. Thanks for watching.